the words. He went from Gerasi to Gerasi were God. You turn mine to destruction and see. Return, O children of men. From thousand years to the sight of the from thousand years to the sight are like yesterday when it is past. And like a watch in the night. You turn away a light of thought. They are like asleep. In the morning, they are like grass which grow, grows up. In the morning flourishes and grows up. In the evening, it is cut down and withers. For we have been consumed by your honey, and by your wrath we were terrified. You have sent our iniquities before you, our secret sin in the light of your conscience. For all our days have passed away in your wrath. We finish our years by the side. Verse 7 asks, For the days of our lives are seventy years, and if by reason of strength they are eighty years, yet the ghost is only labor and sorrow. For it is so cut off, and we fly away. This is the word of the Lord. If I should turn to your program as we We'll turn to our open song. How great the art.
a time to see and a time to know, a time to keep and a time to know for you. A time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to eat, a time for war and a time for peace. The God-given task. What gain has the worker from his toil? I have seen the business that God has given to the children of the land to be busy. He has made everything beautiful in his time, and also he has put eternity into man's heart, yet so that he cannot find out what God has done from beginning to end. Amen. Let's clap for the word. Let's praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. My heart can sing as I pause to remember a
Know you think say you could have come alone? She would allow him to come alone. She was with him foot to foot. And so he moved the bench. She does. And they work together cooperatively in that deaconess work and deacon work. A little heart for you, Mary. And from those times I have been admiring the unity of this family together. They unite together and they work together up to the end. This moment now, they leave for foreign and I haven't seen them back until when they return. I had the opportunity to serve in the field for the shortenings and the widow assigned by my office in the church. And because of the road that break away, it gives her a problem. You know that she began strong. But when it comes to the moving on the foot, she couldn't manage that bad road. And they stayed away for a while. I take the initiative by going to look for them each time. And each time I'm looking for a shot in our wheel, I go like an empty hand. And waving up. They come on my band scandal. And right the time when they band scandal, I went home and come down. So therefore, I am free for that one. I have to take along with me a little something to give them. She said to me, but first, so she called me up. You know, if you come with something anyway, she said, my duty is to bring something. Try up and put it to work together. And I do not like to help them. She said, that's why I'm not seeing so many times because you don't have anything, you don't have money for me. I tell you the truth. I pray with them, I work with them, and I encourage them. Um, they, they have a saying said, every disappointment is for a good sometime. I was appointed to a meeting at church, and when I came, the meeting put off. And that opportunity, I take the opportunity and go to look for Mary out there. When I went here, the situation that I saw, my big fat woman-in-law's cousin laying in the bed. Here, when I got to her, the, the house was locked because of, you know, when you reach up in here, you have a problem develop. And because of that, you might not have the way you would like to have. And because of that, the door was locked. And the sister said, the daughter, no one said to me, you know, so we can't go in. Yeah. And then, of course, I have reached to her. And when we go in, the door was full. After the door was full, the sister came and said, you know, say, you know, say, oh, Mary, you don't have the bed, and you can't take up. And they go and get touch her. It's a lot more sweet. And that's the first experience I had with old men. Each time I got here, I had with like that warm hug and a warm kiss. And she said, Mary, go get a drink for you, no man. Get a drink, whether it's cool or hot. They come in with something. And that day, I could get nothing but get her off the bed and I drink her out. I said, come do a little exercise, man. I see, say, you see. And really, that was the last visit I gave to my cousin, and I am telling you, when I get the news that she's not to hospital, it beat me, but God knows everything best. He had, she had lived a full life so far, and I said she had five year grace. I don't know if you can reach here, but God has given her the opportunity to make it, and it's up to her, and I am saying to you, for those who do not, and sometimes people really see us more because I've lost my mother and I've lost my father. I don't want to remember who I lost my dad. Trust me. But I have lost my mother and I know it's hard and I, I saw the grandchildren crying, but you know when I looked over there and I see you guys crying, I said cry and weep. But just get your sword ready to see your grandma. Because I know you don't miss your grandma, but when you get your sword ready, then you'll see her again. Because as you can see, she has lived her life. I'm 
affiliate groups and batch 85 of the class, the June balls. Batch 85, can you all stand? Come on, who's outside? Can you come in let us see your presenting June? Come on, please. Come guys, the old.
from them overseas and also found their love of uncle. What a thing was going in, that's what she was saying. Seeing them together was something else. Every time you see them, they were hand in hand. If the road was narrow, uncle is behind. If the road is enough for both of them, they are beside each other. I call them peace in a park, psyche and trim, and all the other nice things you could call them. She was always talking about Peggy. Everything she would say, she would ask Uncle to agree. Don't you talk about it? And I told her to say, yes. she was putting in. And she really traced out the job. She always asked me, where did you get the money from? I want people to find me and I call them for it. I had to intervene and say, man, scamming is going on. So, you know, you have to listen to what the teller is saying. Should the shadows come? 
Every funeral service is a constant reminder that one day we all will go this route. As much of how hard to look today, how well dressed you are today, it's a road that all of us will struggle for one day. Bible says to us, once a man, twice a child, everything is just for a while. We suggest to me as we have read in our opening text uh, this afternoon that you are green and fresh in the morning, but you are withered and dry in the evening. And I would wonder if I should put it to you in our Jamaican dialect. You are alive today and dead this evening. But I want to be a word of hope and comfort to the family. Bible says to us that death for the children of God is but a sleep. One day he will return to wake them up and he will carry them with him where he has gone to prepare for his children. So my beloved friends, family members, a sister Tom is but sleeping. She is waiting for the Lord to return to wake her up. So I want you to take courage from that. But I also want to bring a word of caution to us who are alive. In the Bible we have 12 individuals who would have mourned the death of a friend. A friend that they loved so much they spent three and a half years with him and he would have changed their life forever. Journey with me in your Bible to the book of St. Luke. St. Luke chapter 24 verse 1 to verse 3 or probably verse 4. The Bible says to us, No, on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they and certain other women with them came to the tomb, bringing the spices which they had prepared. But they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. Then they went in and did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. Verse 4. And it happened as they were greatly perplexed about this, that the whole two men stood by them in shine, shining garments. Verse 5 and that's, Then, as they were afraid and bowed their faces to the earth, they said to them, Why do you see the living? Among the dead. Boy, it is with me as we pray. Heavenly Father, we invite your presence to be with us now. And as I open up your words to your people today, I pray that you will touch my stuttering lips today. I give me clarity of speech, and I pray that the message that is put forth this evening, many will turn to you before it's eternally too late. Hide me behind the cross, Lord. Use me today as if you have never used me before. And you will never use me again. Have a own seat when this is service, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me see if I can bring to you the story of Jesus Christ. When God created Adam and Eve, in the garden of the 
Gethsemane, death was not a part of his original plan. Rescue people from their sins. 
was there because he was God and earth. Follow me carefully now, my brothers and sisters. See with me on the crucifixion day. Oh, follow me to Thursday to be exact. The day that they captured him. The day that they tried him in Pilate's judgment hall. Pilate said, I find no fault in this man. Oh, I want you to understand, my brothers and sisters, the 12 disciples at this time, they were in hiding because their master, who they think would have rescued them from Roman uh, oppression, was not taken uh, to prison to be, to be tried or to court to be tried about. Hear me today, my brothers and sisters, see with me, they gave him three illegal trial in the space of one day. But my brothers and sisters, when it came to Friday, Pilate said, I find no fault in this man. This man is innocent. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, the 12 other disciples, they were no more than the last man. He did not die as yet. But they already started the mourning process. How ah, you can see with me, brothers, as you surely up to the gutter, carrying the cross and his shoulder. Hear me today, my friends, he was bleeding from his head. He was bleeding from his back. But he was willing to carry the cross for lost humanity. Today, my brothers and sisters, Jesus went to the cross for you.
But I have a warning for somebody. I have a warning for somebody. Ecclesiastes, the final part of Ecclesiastes. Solomon said, let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. What is the whole matter? We have to fear God, give glory to his name, because that's our duty. Oh, let me drop the bomb, shall I leave now? You have some of us, we are in this life, but we are walking around with borrowed goods. So, you don't understand me? We are walking around with borrowed goods. God has led us the breath that we are breathing, and He's calling us to come back to Him before it is eternally too late. What's some of us now? We walk around with our chest puffed up, and we behave as if. We are dead, have no respect for us. Oh, I want you to understand to me, my brothers, my sisters, visiting friends. It was my going to 
get God fixed on earth. We all can imagine how much my mom was all over the moon. They developed an intimate relationship which produced three amazing children. On April 30th, 1971, the two got married and became one. After their union, they produced five more children. She loved her children and they loved her too. Omer was a highly motivated person who was strong and hardworking. When her dad traveled abroad on the follower program, she took care of the children, the farm, and the animals, just like a man would do. No task was too hard for my mom to do. She was one who always believed in take your hand and make fashion. Omer was not one of the easiest persons to live with, neither was she the hardest. She was kind, classy, loving, and compassionate. She was also very stern. I dare you to happen to step on her deliberately. You would feel her. And she never took no for an answer. My mother loved her husband with a deep, deep passion. Never would you see one without the other. I always call him Tom and Jerry. Others call them Psyche and Trim. They were like peas in a pot. There is nothing that my mother would say to her husband to which she would say, to which he would say no. She would say, no, she would turn up, and our dad would answer, yes, ma'am. For my love, her eight children. Doesn't matter what happened, she wouldn't spare the rod and spoil the child. Yet, no one else would touch her kids. I can remember as kids going to school, no teacher could use a cane or the strap on us and let her mom know. Although it is not a time, it is not a thing to celebrate, that teacher would be in trouble. In spite of everything, our mother always wore a smile. She loved her family and her siblings. On April 24, the Lord called her to rest. She is survived by her husband, eight children, 22 grandchildren, six great grand, five brothers, three sisters, nieces, nephews, other relatives, and friends. Weep not for me, although I have gone into that gentle night. Grieve if you will, but not for long. Upon my soul's sweet flight, I am at peace, my soul is at rest. There is no need for tears, for with your love I was so blessed for all those many years. There is no pain, I suffer not. The fear is now all gone, but now these things out of your, put, sorry, put now these things out of your thoughts. In your memory I live on. Remember not my fight to breath. Remember not to strive. Please do not dwell upon my death, but celebrate my life. May her soul rest in peace. Thank you. So we'll ask Pastor Willow Smith to please come forward and do your prayer for your family. Pastor Willow Smith. And come forward this time. Pray for your family. As congregation to you, please stand at this time while the members remain. All who are on this, they stand. All the members, please remain.
place in the sky or in the, the arms of the total family and by extension other family members that are connected. You understand the reason why we are here this afternoon to celebrate the life of the loved one that has passed and before. We give you thanks even at this moment because this is everything we should give thanks. And only you understand why you have taken her from this life at such a time as this. She could have still been alive to see many more years. But I pray right now, dear God, for those that are left behind, our children, grandchildren, other family members, that God will give them the strength and the courage even right now to hope during this moment. Only you will understand. There are questions that Lord will never get the answer, but only you understand. And I pray, dear God, that as they go through this time of mourning, that you will place beneath them your everlasting arm and give them the strength that they need to go through these moments. And help them, dear Lord, to remember that there is a God to serve, a God to glorify, and a soul that they have to save. And Lord Jesus Christ, that when they are all gone, they will be left, dear Lord, with the memory. Oh God, to be here. But Jesus, I know that you'll be there to give them strength and comfort. Take them in your hands right now. And give them the necessary support and sustain them in every way. And help us to understand, dear Lord, that God, we should still give them the love and support that they need at this time because. When we leave here for them, it's not over. Oh, Lord, we know that you will be there at all times, through the night and the day. And God has said that we be made in your for a night, but joy come in the morning. We thank you for the proceedings today. And as we come, dear God, to the close of this proceeding and we move from here to the cemetery, then God, we ask for journey and mercies, that everything, dear Lord, will be done according to your will and your way. And for this, we give you all the praise, all honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please be you see that. Thank you, my Lord. The time of time brings out the news. Another day is done. Someone slipped and fell. Was that someone new? You may have longed for added strength, your courage to renew. Do not be discouraged, for I bring hope to you. There is no sea. Oh, oh.
cara. certain hope of a joyful resurrection when our Lord shall return in glory, then this body of our humiliation shall be changed and made like unto his glorious body, according to the mighty working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. From the dust she came from and to the ground we are solemnly committed our body. As you say, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Let us pray as the casket is lowered down. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this celebration service. Celebrate to the life for dear Sister Tolo. In a very special way, we ask of you now that you are dispatch an angel to watch over this spot. And we pray that when you return to call your children home, 
she will be a part of that great number marching into your kingdom. Be with the family members now as they mourn, as they grieve. Comfort them one more time, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're going to invite you to help us to sing some choruses as the workmen, they will cover the grave. No grave cannot hold my body down. Please help us to sing some songs. to heaven. Oh, <laughs> 